The Samsung Galaxy S24 series is official and there is a lot to talk about. As usual, you have three smartphones in the series. You have the Galaxy S24, which is the base model. You have the Galaxy S24 Plus, which comes with a slightly bigger battery, slightly bigger display and a bigger design. And then finally, you have the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which is the most premium offering from Samsung. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is also Samsung's first smartphone to come with a titanium frame. It is lighter than aluminum, yet stronger. The design is more boxy now, but the titanium frame helps in reducing the thickness. It also has a satin finish texture, which makes it easier to hold and grip. And this time around, Samsung has also done away with the curved screen. So you get a flat display on all the three smartphones with very thin bezels. All three smartphones are powered by a custom Qualcomm SoC, which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. And the headline feature this time around is Galaxy AI. Both Qualcomm and Samsung have extensively worked together to bring a host of on-device generative AI features to its users. First off, we have the Call Assist Live Translate feature, which is baked right into the native dialer app. It can live translate in 13 different languages in real time. It is a two-way call translation that leverages on-device generative AI. So let's take a look at this feature live in action. In this example, we'll call a restaurant and make a reservation. So we go in the dialer app and call the restaurant. Then we click on use call assist. Then we click on live translate. And here I'm going to speak in English. Hello, I would like to make a reservation. Yes, please let me know the date and number of people you want to make a reservation. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. for two people. Yes, there are many seats available. You can come on Friday. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. Booking a table is just one example, but there can be many other use cases. As all this is happening on device, your data is safe and secure, and the data never leaves the device. And one more thing, this feature does not require cellular or Wi-Fi connectivity. The next feature is AI reflection removal feature, which can be found in the gallery app. As the name suggests, it lets you remove reflections from your photos. And here is how it works live in action. And in the next example, as you can see, there is a shadow on the face of the person. We again tap on the icon and then tap on erase shadow. And as you can see, it's done within a few seconds. And the next feature is an interesting one. It's called generative edit. And we believe that most of us will likely end up using this. It uses hybrid AI, which means it uses the internet and the on-device generative AI to make the suggested edits. So let's see it in action. In this image, there are a few things we would like to change. We click on edit button. Then we click on generative edit. And here we'll select the subject. We want to move it up a bit like it's in the air. So we just drag it a bit upwards. And we'll also remove the lamp post on the side and straighten the pick a bit. Now, as you can see, there is some data missing on the top and on the sides, but the AI will fix it. Once all these things are done, let's hit the generate button and it will take a few seconds. And that's about it. And here you can see the before and after effects. Mind blowing, isn't it? And then there are times where you want to convert your normal videos into slow motion. You can quickly do that using generative AI and it will add all the missing frames in the video. Like here, all you have to do is play the video, then tap and hold on the screen and it slows down the video just like that. So there you go. These were some of the Galaxy AI on device generative AI features that you can experience on the Galaxy S24 series. There are many more assistant use cases that work across the messaging app, Samsung Notes app, Android Auto, and much more. But we'll talk more about it in our detailed review. If you find this video helpful, do hit the like button and do let us know about your favorite feature in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell icon so that you are notified about every new video that we publish. For now, it's Ritesh signing off and see you in the next one.